your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. A beautiful night out there. Current temperatures uh, running in the 60s, albeit the low 60s, even some mid 50s, uh, still 70 in Atlanta. That's that urban heat island. All that heat from the city up to that sunshine. Uh, it takes a while to cool off all that concrete. As we go farther to the north, the colder air is still well out to the west in the Intermountain Rockies, uh, where we have kind of the clash of the slightly cooler temperatures. A lot of this is rain cooled in Kansas City. There's a frontal boundary up there, and it's producing strong to severe storms, mainly hail tonight, uh, heavy winds up there and also looking at a slight tornado threat. But overall, I think most of that's passed. They did have a few tornadoes down here in the Oklahoma City area earlier tonight, and that's kind of tapering off a bit. One lone thunderstorm there, and I mentioned that it's all out to the west, and that's really where we expect the severe weather to be over the next three days. We don't see any threat for severe weather here anywhere in the Tennessee Valley, even though we will have some thunderstorms with locally heavy rain, frequent lightning and the possibility of some pea size hail and that's going to take place late Friday afternoon into Friday night. So with the rain on the roof forecast, a big change here. I've adjusted everything. Everything looks like it's going to happen Friday night and very early Saturday morning. Uh, I say Friday night. We're talking after five o'clock out in the shoals and this line will quickly move through. So your Saturday's looking better. Also looking a little warmer on both ends the afternoon and during the overnight hours as well. Tomorrow morning, low temperatures starting off in the mid to upper 50s. Southeast wind at four in the morning, but that wind's going to increase throughout the day and start gusting to around 15, maybe even 20 miles an hour. And that'll carry over into Friday as well as that frontal boundary gets closer. So one last really warm, dry, but breezy day tomorrow. And then the showers and storms start coming in Friday. I think a lot of this is probably overdone by two o'clock Friday afternoon, but the line gets formed here. Looks fairly ominous, but again, this is just going to be a line of stronger thunderstorms, locally heavy rain, frequent lightning, and it may have a little momentum built up with it. You may see kind of this shelf cloud, uh, a long cloud here associated with this as it moves in. May get some wind gusts 40 to 45 miles per hour initially here at 5 o'clock as it starts moving in. And here's 630 in the evening, so very fast moving line here. With that said, uh, that would create the gusty winds out there and also impact your evening plans here Friday. Some outdoor events going on and that will continue moving to the east by 730 already over here towards Scottsboro, Fort Payne, Rainsville and down in towards a Boaz and Albertville. But here it is. It's gone. So I've dropped the forecast. May need to even just take the chance of rain out of Saturday's forecast, but I do want to wait and see what the overnight forecast guidance says from some of the other models. But to overall looking better. Clouds increase again late Saturday afternoon. It's going to be breezy and quite a bit cooler but it's going to be dry. Here's your 10 day forecast as we carry it on through. Could have some delays again for your Friday evening, but uh, Saturday looks good. Overnight lows a little bit warmer and just a few degrees makes a huge difference out there. And I think the wind's going to stay up too much Sunday morning for frost, but there will be those sheltered valleys Monday morning with a calm wind. If you drop down to about 36 degrees, could see frost, but I don't think it's going to be terribly widespread out there, but we've got more rain coming in, Sean. We've got rain coming in Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. This is going to be a Damn steady man. light rain. Doesn't look like a flooding yeah. rain, but just kind of nuisance and it kind of plays on your mind if it's just cloudy and kind of drizzly out there. Try to get ball games in, things like that. Exactly. Yeah, nuisance. I'm zeroed in on that Friday. I'm not going to get any sleep. My dog shakes like a little rattlesnake oh. tail with these southern mm. storms. Yeah, Ugh. could be. Oh, I could. They could have a lot more bark than bite, though. Hopefully. Yeah.